Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Come on in, let's make something. Right off the bat, recently I made a sign, We Stand With Our Truckers Convoy 2022 Mandate Freedom. And it was, it was for the Canadian truckers and it had some maple leaves. I'll show you a picture of it right here. And basically, um, I showed that to my brother-in-law and he said, oh, you better make an American. He's a trucker, lives up in Montana. And he says, you better make an American one pretty soon because they're getting ready to make a run on Washington. And I said, oh, that sounds okay. That sounds good. And um, I was kind of glad to see uh, people standing up here in America. So today I thought I would make an American one. Now, you can see in this picture, I have two American flags, one on each side. So basically, I could use the same sign that I created for the the Canadians and just change the maple leaves to American flags. But the American flags didn't turn out good, so I ended up, um, I'll show you right here. I I made the I made it, painted it and everything, but the stars didn't turn out good. So I took a, a surfacing bit and I just surfaced the whole piece of wood down a half inch and took everything off of it. I made about four passes with this uh, this bit, it's a 6220 four bladed bit from white side. It's a surfacing bit and it's two inches in diameter and has four wings on it. Anyway, that made quick work of that. And then what I did, now this is an Avid CNC machine. It's my four by eight. And actually when you surface something, it really, it really helps to perfect all the the letters and, and everything you're trying to engrave. If you surface it first, it works really good. Now right here, I'm using a, a straight cut bit to do the X, Y, and Z. And I'm shooting this with my GoPro mounted on the spindle. This is an eight horsepower spindle. Now right here, I'm just gonna do a touchdown only with the V bit. And the whole sign's gonna be cut with the V bit. And right here, it's cutting the eagles. So you can see I replaced this, the flag with these eagles because I just thought it would turn out better. And there goes the, the letters, stand with the truckers, stand with our truckers. And I do support these truckers. And by the way, they, you know, there's a lot of false uh, fake news about the truckers being violent and stuff. And maybe you'll have one or two of those kind of people, but Majority of these guys are hardworking Americans, or not, yeah, well, in this case, we're talking about the Americans, but in, Can in Canada, they, they were families and just, just good, good people. So I thought it was my duty to do a little support for them. I already got a little flack for it. Uh, I got a few comments on that video that I did for the Canadian truckers saying that they were destroying property and stuff but i didn't see any of that in all the news that i watched so i still support them and i hope that they the government just gets smart and ends these mandates now here you can see by surfacing it and this is a a v bit uh 52 no 1502 and right there i do the final cut but by surfacing it the the letters all come out consistent and even and turn out really good now right here, I'm painting it. And by the way, the time clock in the, in the left-hand corner is the actual time it took me to make this sign from start to finish. So um, right here, I'm painting all the letters red. And this particular sign I made to fit in a flat rate, a large flat rate box. Um, I'm planning on, as a surprise, I'm gonna send this up to my brother-in-law in Montana and um yeah so right here i paint all these letters all the letters are going to be red and then my idea was to paint look at the t you can hardly see them but if you looked out those windows there was a bunch of turkeys going by matter of fact while i'm editing this movie matter of fact i'll show you a picture in a minute but while i'm editing the editing this i'm looking out my window and there's all these turkeys outside and what happens is I have these bird feeders two stories up, up on my deck and the birds knock this bird seed down onto the snow. And then these turkeys have figured it out and they've been coming by like every day eating the bird seed off the ground. And I know you're not supposed to feed the wildlife, but I wasn't feeding them. The, the birds were. 
right there I turn on my overhead uh, my dust collection and my overhead air air dust collector and then I start sanding off this is after it's dried so this is the next day and I sand off all the the excess uh, paint and you can see when you sand it off it really the, all the detail in the truck and the Eagles really comes out nice now this is just some scrap wood that I had left over from doing my foundation and um, I've just been trying to make good use of it um, make make some things out of it so and right there it's uh clean up the back a little I had already put keyhole slots in this one right here I vacuum it all out and you can see the detail in it see right there touch up a little bit there now I take it outside and I do my usual five coats of polyurethane thanks for watching outlaw woodworking the sign came out really nice I think it's a nice uh, tribute to the American truckers and um, hopefully my brother-in-law will like it and yeah anyway thank you very much for watching please subscribe like the video and I will see you next time Most of what I try to make nowadays, I try to design it to fit in a flat rate box because when you try to sell something, and oh, by the way, you can check out our store um, at outlawwoodworking.bigcartel.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but anyway, yeah, flat rate shipping is uh, the easiest way for me to figure it out because otherwise you've got to try to get scales and... Um, I don't know, I just haven't had much luck with that. So I try to design little products that'll, that'll fit into a, a flat rate box and then it makes it easier for me to be able to ship it. One of our biggest things that we make and ship is cutting boards. And all of our cutting boards are made from, by hand and they're made uh, right here in the mountains of Colorado. Yeah, so hopefully this fits in this box because that's how I design it. Um, sorry about the background noise. It's cold here in Colorado right now. And I've got my pallet stove going. And that always kind of creates a little, a little noise. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> it just barely fit. Okay, one one uh, one nice box ready to ship. Anyway, thank you very much again for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.